Well, good day, farmers, and welcome back to Farm Sim Saturday. So, today, I want to try to do some uh, silage bales, and, you know, the wrapper and stuff. Uh, so, first of all, we need to do some uh, cutting some grass. Uh, leave the grass wet, bale it up, and wrap it. I'm presuming that's how it works. Uh, so, nope. We need to go buy some stuff. Some stuff. Mowers. I got a mod. Got these mowers here. You know, you've seen me use those. But I got the Crone Big M mod. Ooh, main color. Rim color. Ooh, we can make it like John Deere color. That's kind of sweet. Sh attachers. Extended hitch mount. Guess we'll just leave that standard. Ooh, big power. Wheel setup. Jeez, I don't know. Sure, why not? Design. Beacon light bar. Oh, that's okay. We don't need that. Okay. So expensive, but that's okay. We got some green here. Um, okay, so we're going to need... Um, where is he? Bailing technology. Right beside. I should have seen that. Uh, just a bale collector. There's the wrapper. Okay, that's what it says right there. Bale wrapper packs grass bales into foil so they can ferment into silage. So we'll go with that. That's expensive enough too for that little guy. <gasps> oh no. I don't have enough room left. We got way too much stuff on here. This thing's really fast. Um, okay, so let me think now. We've got we've got our grass up behind the farm there, the farm there. But I think I think I'm gonna do this patch we've got. It's gonna be tight. Oh, we're good. This patch that we have way over here. Um, we're going to use it, I think, if I can get a way to sneak in behind here, just because we're going to get a lot more grass out of this. Oh, this is going to be tight, too, because there's a pond right there. I think we made her. Okay, so we'll get everything unfolded here. Get this going. I've been wanting to try this for a while. Okay, so now we want to turn it on. I guess we'll we'll shoot her into a windrow here. Should anyways. I don't see anything to not do that, so. Yeah, it's working. Seems like it's missing a bit of stuff. But. Okay. So this will make short work of it, but I think what I'm going to try to do, I should have got over more, so I got a better cut there, but... Um, well, there's a couple of tree stumps here. We'll just go around those. I want to do a couple of cuts here, so we're going to let it grow. And... Uh, a couple of cuts on the same path here, if possible, and we'll get quite a bit out of a bale, even though this will be a pretty good bunch of bales here. Um, it's cutting, cutting this thing. So I think someone sped up and modified it quite a bit here. I just looked for uh, the big X, I think it was, or big M, um, and I come up with this guy. I think you guys have seen me use this before. It works pretty good. I actually watched a video, a real video of one of these machines in action, and they actually do whip along pretty quick. They are quite speedy, so 
This is probably probably actually pretty accurate to how fast they go. I don't know how they don't get clogged up. They seem to uh, tour right along, so. That was a YouTube video I watched on that. It was pretty, pretty cool. So we'll get a couple of cuts here anyways. Probably two cuts would be lots. It's going to fill the barrel. Actually, you know what? Maybe I just better do this one. Just, just thinking because two cuts piled. Well, two cuts piled into one with a round baler means I'm going to have to stop an awful lot. I think that, that this will be, be good worth one cut, I think. We'll get the baler going right after here. Get the bales going, and then uh, have to get. Oh, I have to buy a wrapper yet because it wouldn't fit there, right? That's right too. Oh, there's that tree we cut down. There, I planted them again. <laughs> Looks like a shrub now. That's cool. Yeah, so I think we'll just do the one cut here because it'll be too much for that baler. But square bales, okay, but round bales, yeah, we better not. And so this will give us enough for our little test anyways. I'd like to see... Well, I don't know how long it takes to turn it into silage, but maybe it's instant, I don't know. But I think we will have to have a uh, something to grab the bale grab the bale and put it in the, uh, geez, how's that going to work now? It's going to have to grab it and put it in the, uh, processing feeding machine. I think that's the only way that it's going to, uh, be able to stir it up again, you know, mix it up. So we don't really have enough for another swipe there, so we'll have to run down after and finish the bottom end. That's all right. Although we're getting a little bit, but I think I'm going to just run down and... Wow, this thing really hauls. Still going, 74. She's a hauler. Yeah, just not quite wide enough. That's okay, we're getting a full, full cut here, so that'll work good. Okay, that is good. I will just leave this guy parked down here for now. We, what tractor are we going to use? Uh, use this guy beside here, maybe. Little narrow wheels. Now, I know I have a baler. <laughs> 98% sure I have a round baler. Where exactly it is right now, I don't know. Oh, there it is. Found them. All right. Nothing in it, too. That's good. So we'll haul that down and fire out some bales, and then we'll have to... Uh, Purchase a wrapper. And we'll go do some wrapping. Try to jump the curb here. No sweat. All right. 
Let's start where we started cutting here, I guess. Which was way down here. Put that pickup down. Okay, yeah, this is, I'm kind of glad I only did one cut. This is going to take us a minute to get all this bailed up now. I can't remember what key it was. Unload bailer. Why? Why? Because I have to unload it. Okay, that's, yeah, that's green. Hard to see the green on the green here, but I think we're doing pretty good. A little bit of a drop there. That was kind of wrecking my equipment, maybe. you can pick up wrapped bales. I'd like to take them up to the, where I'm going to use it instead of, you know, having to come all the way down here to try it. So, let's see. If we wrap them, can we pick them up? I'm pretty sure I got a, a round bale picking up machine trailer. Pretty sure I do. Got quite a few bales just out of the first swipe here. Another one coming. Oops. Try to put the door down. My bad. Count all the bells, so I think we got at least ten there. This is a nice little patch here for this. Nice little like a like an airplane runway here, pretty much. Yes, I do believe uh, it's a good idea that we only did one cut. That condensed quite a bit of grass into one windrow, so I think that worked out pretty good.
Down baler works pretty good. I like it except every time you gotta stop. They're building up pretty quick, aren't they? Lots of bales. Probably going to be pretty equal to uh, each row here. Uh, so this one coming up on our right, they'll probably be dumping it at the same spot. Oh, no, we're a little past. Uh, sorry, I'm not saying too much here. I'm just really concentrating on not overshooting and keeping in the row and overshooting as in driving past when the baler's full. So, a little more concentration than normal, I guess. Try to keep the tractor in the row too so it gets a full, full pickup. One more swipe down and we'll be done our bail and we'll have to go buy our wrapper and get the wrapper going. This won't be as much in here, yeah. This is a little slower building up. And we're out here, so we have to run down to the other where it takes off here again. Went a little wider here on us, so we got a little more right about here. Yeah, like we hit the full row there again, so it starts building up like super wicked fast. sure was nice, so that worked well. I guess you could use these bales too as just as grass put that in your mixer and that'll mix it up as grass. Um, wrapping it will turn it into silage. And then if you wanted hay, you'd have to dry it with the uh, tether first. Okay, I don't believe I've got enough for any more, so I'm going to leave that bit there. Put that back down. That guy there. Okay, let's uh, let's purchase our wrapper now. The wrapper. So, uh, yeah, we've got the trailer there. So this. Okay. All right. Go to the store and grab our wrapper. Should be 
this way. There it is, sitting there. Ready to wrap. Head her over to the field. Get the wrap going, and then, uh, like I say, I don't know how long it takes to convert it to silage, but uh, maybe it's like one of those instant things. I, I don't know. So, be interesting to see here. Uh, I think I better go this way. I think I was going to make it. Okay, what do we have to do here? Unfold wrapper. That makes sense. Um, don't believe we have to turn anything on. I think it's all kind of automatic. Yeah, we just have to go up in here and then let it do its thing. Take and go to the next one. Sure uses up a lot of wrap. Should flip it. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Now, if I mess with my cruise control here again, go like five or six. Time we drive to the next bale, this one should be wrapped and ready to get dumped off. Might have to adjust my. Uh, speed a little bit. Seven. Let's see if by the time we get to that other bale, if it's wrapped and going off the back side, I just have to adjust myself in my chair here while this is going. Oh, I sometimes like to sit with my left leg curled underneath my other leg and it kind of falls asleep. <laughs> Oh, and then it hurts and tingles, and it's ouchy, and I shouldn't do it, but... Oh. Better go six, maybe. Let's look at our speed set. It should be all right. Yep. The next bale is coming. Oh, hurry up. Perfect. <laughs> Looks like around six is about about it. It's pretty close. It's a little process, you know, but uh, I was asked last week in the comments if I could do some more uh, first person in tractor stuff. I'm going to try, but uh, it's, it's, to me the game is way different than actual real one to one driving a tractor. Um, I don't know, I just, you can't, you don't have the perception. perception? That's the right word I'm thinking of. Perception. Peripheral. Peripheral vision. 
Uh, so you can see it there in the mirror. Though. Peripheral vision, yeah, like, you know, you'd be able to see here, but you'd still see, like, way over here and way over here, right? When you're looking straight ahead, it just doesn't do it, doesn't do it for me in the game, so I, so I probably don't like the, uh, the in-game stuff. But I'm going to try to do a little more in-game for you. I think I got to be closer to that bale. See, and you can't. All I can do is go like this, you know. I can't lean because I had trouble there looking to see where the next bale was coming up because it was a corner. I couldn't lean past and lean out of it to to look. So that's a little different too. You can't move other than this, right? Not many people can do that, so. Close to it, almost touch it with a tractor. Yep, we're good. Okay, now this I might do a little differently because I really don't want to go down one row and then have to come all the way back up. So I'm going to go this way and then grab this one and do like a zipper zigzaggy thing down here. Now it might be too fast. I might have to slow down a little bit. Yeah, this is not going to work. It's not going to, uh... <laughs> Don't want to go too slow, but... Come on, wrap her faster. I must do like three layers on that thing. It's an awful lot. One dumper off. Oh, I'll never get this one done by the time I get to this one. It's just kind of close. Some of them are going to be really close together. But we're getting them done. That's kind of sweet. I don't know what it is about bailing. I love doing bailing. So here I can't lean over and look out the window better, right? That's sort of what I don't like about the first person stuff in the game. No, I didn't miss any sin here, did I? I don't think so. This one we might get done. And from the one ahead of us to the one to the left, I don't think we'll get that one done in time. This one's going to be too close for sure, so I'll do a little loop around here like this maybe. Get ahead a little bit. Be nice if that wrapper is more automated, where you know it's we just kind of automatically dump it off the end. Yep, not going to make that one. Oh, look at these ones, all three of them. Okay, I might have to do uh Go down the one row here. Because now we got two, three rows here, you left. So that that's eliminated the field part behind us, so, so that's good. Come on, rapper, hurry up.
Should be a good time for this one, though. Maybe. Jeez, maybe not, eh? We'll have to go six. So by the time we get down there, yeah. Just made her uh, a little bit too sh too slow. So we'll get these wrapped up. Let's just jump out of cab for a second here. Oop, not that way. Let's see, we've got uh, oh, one in front of us. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine left to wrap. Holy. See, I don't know if they're instantly silage or if it actually has to wait for a day or, you know, it should be like about six, eight months, but anyways, it's all right. Looking like a whole bunch of white marshmallows up the field here. That's kind of cool looking. I said I don't run out of wrap too. Just keeps wrapping, just keeps wrapping. I believe it takes that long from that bale to drive to this one. I still have to slow down a bit before it gets ejected. The bale comes up quick. That's all right. drive down here a little bit wait till she gets wrapped and then we'll dump it off hopefully I haven't missed any I think we're doing good we've got four left Doing 
seven kilometers an hour too. off and get a reset. Quick, quick, quick. Perfect. Three left and we're good. Go up and get our trailer. Bring them down. May just, uh, if this works out, may just leave this equipment down here. And uh, we could use this as our baling field. We could do, we could do hay, bales, whatever. Uh, the field we have up beside our farm there's not bad but it's not massive like they can't get a whole lot of bales now selling these I don't know hmm, if I would just take them to where you sell bales or do I have to take it somewhere different special or what I don't know how that's going to work okay does that wrap if we jump off oh it shuts off Okay. Yeah, it shuts off. Okay, well. I see, I think, I believe that we are all wrapped. That's a lot of. Actually, you know, we sh it's gonna take a long time to do this all again, but. If I did two cuts here, we'd probably have twice as many bales out there, I would imagine, so. Okay, what I want to do, just before we get, um, or picking up wagon, oops, I want to jump in the helicopter. Get up and just look at all these bales we got out here. Whenever she starts, can I have a nap while you wait for this? All right. I just want to get up here a little highish and uh, check out all our bail work. There's quite a few down there. Let's see if we can uh, maybe get a count on them here. I think I can see most everything from here. We'll just go down maybe a little bit. Okay, so we'll start down there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Oh, we almost got 29 bales. Let's just count again here. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Yeah, okay. Awesome! All right. Choppy, choppy, choppy. Oh, choppy, 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 choppy. Okay, so uh, I guess maybe uh, we should uh, bring bring down another. Tractor, yeah. I know I got it there. That's what I was after. Okay, now we gotta find our trailer. It's a log 
trail out of this plow. It might be up here somewhere. I really can't remember where it is. It's not there. Might be way over on the other side here. Uh-oh. Did I drive right past it? I might have. Oh, we do have some grass out there. Oh, well, it's all right. Okay, I have to track down this trail. Look at all the eggs. Holy... I, where on earth will we have used that thing last? When in doubt, consult your... Tractors. Oh, I'm sure I have one. That's the baler. Hmm. Log trailer. Well, isn't that odd? I've used it so little, I can't remember where it is now. Well, all I can think is drive around until I find it. Don't believe it's too far away. Just check on this side of the farm. Sometimes you never know. Where all park stuff could be, could be right back here. Oh, that's the mowers. Oh man! What did we do with it? Should actually see if I do have one. I'm pretty sure I do. I'm 98% sure I do have one. This is embarrassing because there, it's right there. But where the heck is it? I don't necessarily like their finding methods. Turn everything on until we find it here. Do, do, do. Okay, so it's saying that we're really close to it. Yep, there it is. <laughs> it's just, it was so buried behind everything else here, I couldn't see it. Come on, are you kidding me? Okay, I'm just gonna do paint damage here. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. That'll work. Man! 
Holy, yeah, it's too much red there. I couldn't see the thing sitting there. Okay. Well, let's head her down here. We'll start picking up some bales, and then we, uh... Oh, we'll start piling them in our yard, I guess. Some are maybe, uh... I wish this thing would kind of dump them off as, like, snakes instead of, like, stacks. That's the only trouble I, I find with this thing. It's tricky because it puts it into stacks, and then i got to use, like, the, the bale grabber mach machine machini there, which I don't have. Oh, stop sign. Are you kidding me? Now I'm really going to be screwed here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Holy cow, let's get some bales picked up, eh? I think I can only put on eight on this thing at a time, so... Oops, missed that guy. It's okay, we got lots more. So we're gonna have to get a tractor. Oh, miss that guy too. A tractor that'll take a loader and that bale bale grabber mechanism thing. We are going to need that. I can squeeze on one more, and then we'll take this load back. So I'm assuming this stuff has already turned to uh, a silage kind of thinking. Oh, look at that. There's actually a road here. That makes it nice, doesn't it? Watch the stop sign. So we're going to have many loads here to do. So this is going to probably take us a minute. I'm going to take this load back here and uh, unload and then just take a little break myself. Um, a few minutes for me, microseconds for you guys, of course, and uh, we'll get back and start hauling some more of this back up here. Um, should I actually do some that uh, are... Uh, Just straight grass, maybe. Okay, mix the grass and then the silage. Man, this thing's wild. Okay, I forget now. Load bales. See, I wish it would just dump them off the way they were sitting on the trailer like that instead of stacking them up like this. through the wall, I can't tell. A little bit, we'll just pull it a little bit there. Okay, stack one, so good. I'm gonna take a little break. Uh, we shall be back in a minute. Uh, seconds for you, a few minutes for me, and uh, we'll get picking up some more of these bales. Anyhow, we shall return. Alrighty, let's head her back down and grab some more bales. Hopefully we can get them all picked up today and brought up. Uh, it's going to take us a few minutes, though, so get comfortable in your chair or whatever you're sitting in, if you're sitting in something, and uh, we'll get all these brought back to the farm here. Then we'll have to figure out uh, some sort of a tractor to put a loader on or something that we can uh, use the uh, 
bail grabber mechanism grabber thingy, if you know what I mean. Marshmallows, off we go. Marshmallows. So, um, I don't really know, but I think we got at least three more loads maybe there of bales to bring up. But I do wish they would kind of dump them off like this. And you just use the bale spear and spear the spear the bale and then stuff that into the uh, that machine. Eating the mixer wagon. Cow this thing turns fast. Hard to keep up to it. Bang on perfectly uh, close enough. All right. Oh, jeez. Yep. Actually, you know what? I'm going to just thought I'm going to speed up time, get us back to the day, the next day, and uh, we might do just some grass bales here too, and then I can just do grass. And I think I've got lots of hay up at the farm that are stuffed in those buildings, but I know I'm pretty short on grass. You know, this is the grass that you uh, cut and bring in, and it never dries, ever, ever dries, you know, until you run the tether through it, and then it dries. So, you know, kinda, if you think it would have a stale date on the grass, like, you know, last for three or four days, whatever, and then it's, just, you know, no good. It's turned moldy or whatever, we'll say. Enough for one more, and then there is oh, geez, not that as many as I thought. And then we'll have one more to pick up, have another half a load. And the little things all have trees, and I just can't jump out. this load and then we'll figure out our what we're gonna do for that tractor. Uh, motor tractor is with the uh, oh, oh there's a 
name for it. I just can't think of what it was. The bail grabber. No, bail grabber detachment. Or whatever it's called. Four more. 18,000 property income. That's pretty good. That's coming out of our windmills there. Wind generators. Which we have enough money. We could probably put another one in there if we wanted today, too. Really start making some green. them really close to the feeding wagon, perhaps. Last but not least. We're gonna get time doing to do an actual crop today. Um, time I get some grass bales baled again here and just bring them up. I think we're probably out of time. Well, that's okay. This was kind of my uh, objective today was to uh, see if we can make us some silage bales. So now we got to figure out uh, what we're going to do for that loader. Let's look at here. Oh, where is it? Uh, Telehander's wheel loader is a little bit too big. Slurry tanks, forestry equipment, loaders. Well, front loader. Duh. <laughs> Probably go with this guy. It's for the Vario 700. Okay, let's remember that. Okay, and attachment should be in here. Ooh, main color. John Deere Green. Vario 700. Okay, so we'll need that too. Gotta find him here. Vario 700. Vario 300. Vario 700. Ooh, main color. Engine setup. Let's let's add a bit more power. Front loader attacher. Really? I already bought that. <laughs> Wheel setup. Standard, I guess. We'll just go with that. Okay. 200, 1,500 for that tractor. Oh, yeah. Expensive. Alright. Uh, there he is. Doesn't really look like this thing's going to fit on here. Fit on here. This is the right track. 
or is it not? Bent 720. Maybe I didn't get the right track there. Okay, what is going on here? Well, I want to try to push that thing out of the way because this is that's what I need. Something isn't right here though. Okay, let's start let's start this again here. Okay, we'll just get rid of this. We're gonna lose some money, but that's okay. Customize. Can we just customize it? Yes, set that front attacher, yes. Okay. Don't know what that did. Anything. Really loader. There we go. Okay. There we go. I don't know whether I'll need a rear weight for this thing. Maybe will, maybe not. Fuel tank thing maybe would work too for that. Okay, let's go see now if we have made silage bales. Done all I know, so hopefully that is right. Let's see here. Now just to double make sure there's nothing in the machine already. Hey. Picks her up like it's nothing. So I presume that as soon as these are wrapped, they turn to silage. And if it is, it should be like that brown color that's over there. Hey. I do believe. say yeah silage well isn't that cool and we're 25 percent filled so that's that's pretty good two bales of this two bales of grass will give you the 100 percent Knocked him over. That's all right. This is funny. It looks like it's a set of tongs carrying a huge marshmallow. There we go. So we got 50%. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's. Uh, we'll take this down. I'm gonna just let time run a little more here. Um, just to that grass maybe go a little further. And we're going to kind of re wash, rinse, and repeat here. Do some, some more just grass bales, and then I want to take them up and then add them into the mixer there and see uh, we get our nice 50-50 balance of uh, grass. And, uh, that would be So we'll go down and switch machines here and do some more mowing. It actually looks like it's pretty good here, so we can maybe kind of tie it down. And then, um, okay, back to the mower. Round bellin is kind of a pain. Ooh, that's not good. 
first. And all your weight. What else we should be able to do on this is put on our forge wagon. I do believe right behind. You could just pick that right up. That might be something interesting we could try after this grows again. We could um, probably take it and sell it or put it in our uh, fermenter, we could do that as well. But I think I'd want to get a bigger forge wing because we've got it just a little bit high. Just a little fella. Basically, we want enough for the load. Uh, eight pails, I think that should give us eight pails pretty easy. Should do, I do believe. Beautiful. Okay. We will switch back. Switch back to our baler. Hit her down. Start him up. Off we go. These are, yeah, we're just going to keep these grass, take them up, stuff them in the machine there, mixer. See if we can mix ourselves up some, some food for the, uh, like the animals, I was going to say horses. <laughs> the animals, the cows. The other thing you could do is do this that um, have multiple trailers, uh, loading wagons, we'll say, and uh, cut the grass, cut the grass, take it to the biogas, we haven't done that yet in this map, biogas is sort of behind us to our back right, back sort of that way. Biogas used to make you pretty good money in um, FS13. We did some biogas way back then. It's been that long, I guess, since I've done biogas. It's a lot of loader work. But now they do have the um, conveyors, so you could just stuff the conveyor in there, fill your truck, and then back over and dump in. It's not all loader work anymore, I don't think. So that'd be kind of nice. This is uh, the bales we got now. Three, four, five. We shouldn't have problem getting our trailer load. Big hairy turn. 
too bad. Should definitely be getting another three or four bales here, you gotta think. grass here. Could use it as a runway. And airplanes. Are we gonna squeeze one more out here? Yeah, I think we will. I think we will. Oh yeah, big time. If I'm gonna drive, I might even get one more out of this. Two more out of this. That's if I knew how to drive. Nice straight road. Ooh, I don't know if this will be enough though. <laughs> Might have a little bit of surplus down here. Good thing. Perfect. Okay. Just gonna leave that open. We want to do some belt inspection. Things are still rolling. That was funny. Yep. All looks good. Nothing's frayed. Nothing's stretched. All right. Now we'll grab these guys. Take them up. over it and pick it up. That's awesome. <laughs> Look at that. One row. Eight bales. That's good. Whoa, jeez. Alright, let's run these back and then we'll uh, fire one of these into our meeting, mixing, meeting wagon. <laughs> mixing wagon. I'm having trouble talking today. See if this will mix up a nice mixed batch of food for the cattles. I believe it will. Ooh boy, I'm gonna have to pick one of these bales up off the top unless I knock them over first or something. That might be fun. I think that loader should go high enough for that. Just before we get into too much more, I do want to do a save because last time we played this map, I don't know if it was just something weird with the game or what happened, but it did crash. I think with FS17, that is the first game crash I've ever had. It was 
last time we played this map. It might have just been my computer, not the game. It was something might have screwed up with the windows or whatever. I don't know. Don't know. Oh, look at follower. Oh, oh, boy. Tipsy, tipsy. Oh. We're good. Okay, so when we put the wrapped bales in there, I would really like to know where the wrapping goes. Um, this should be good. Because there's, you know, three layers of wrap on that, those things. That wrap's got to be going somewhere. I feel like I got a good grip on that. Should work. Boom. Oh no, that may not work. <laughs> oh no. Uh, this bale is not supported. How do I get that out of there now? Uh oh. <laughs> I guess that doesn't work. Well. So that's not good. I guess that's just for silage then. I wonder if I can actually get in there with the tongs like this. See if I can pick that back out of there again. So, that didn't seem to work. They're not lined up again. Ah, I was wondering if it was going to work or not going to work. I guess it was not, not going to work. Did I get it? yet so far. Well, we might have her now. Oh! Yeah, let's not support it. Doesn't that stink, eh? Oh, we got him now. <laughs> well, unfortunately, that sucks because I don't even think that I can. Uh, I can't drive this machine into the grass. Like a pile of grass, I'm, I'm referring about. So, we got a bunch of bales that we can't really use unless we wrap them. We can use them that way, I guess. Okay, no problem. Now, I want to see if this will go... What happens if I put it in this? This is not going to do anything, I don't think. Oh, did take it. Processing it, though, at all? panel over here it should yeah it's got four thousand it's got a bale in there i have to speed up time a bit because it does take a little bit and that should there she goes yeah okay that'll work so we can make silage that way you don't have to wrap it now this is a mod of course so uh but then getting out of here kind of sucks because it just like instantly fills your thing so um okay so what else can we do with those bales i think we can we run that through a bale processor i wonder now, where will that be? Bailing technology. Hmm. Don't know if they have a bail processor in the game here. That's for square bales pick collector. Might be under feeding stuff. Um do 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 do, do just got a find it here. I wish they had a search. You know, you could look up feed or feeding or something and it would, you know, bring up that. Ah, uh, bean harvesting, potato harvesting. 
Well, that was interesting. Um, forestry. Animals. Take straw bales and use them to cover the ground. And cow. That's not quite exactly what I was wanting. That'll kind of blow them out. Well, I don't know if we can do anything with those bales other than wrap them and take them in. Take straw bales. It's not for grass, so... Um, okay. That's not going to work as I wanted. So, what we would probably have to do with the grass is use the mower and the big uh, forage wagon. And, um... Uh, the big forage wagon. Pick up the grass, but I don't know. It's probably better just to... Well, I don't know, because they need grass too, right? The cows need... The cows need grass. Oh, I lots of time going. Yeah, I don't have anything for them right now. They're bone dry. Poor cows. So grass, yeah, and silage and hay. So... That's not so good. That's some silage what we got left of them. This is our, our dried hay here. So we'll give them a little bit of this, I guess. Get her into well, I'll just fill it to 100%. And that should be a, roughly a 50-50 mixture. Thousand property income. Woo! That's what we should do. Buy another windmill. Wind tower put up there. Wow, this is really eating this stuff up here. That's pretty close. I don't think the cows will know. girls. Oh, you're sleeping. Or you're dead. Probably dead because I haven't fed them. <laughs> that could be. So, yeah, they're filling up with some power food right now. But grass bales doesn't help us. You know what would be kind of cool, though? If you could take a grass... Oh, look, yeah, took thing. If you could take a grass bale and just put it in there and they'd eat at it. Cows do that. You know, so... Um, okay, so we have no more sheep. So they're not making a mess anymore. That's kind of nice. But uh, we do have some grass in that uh, forage wagon there. So, oh, I'm not going to get out of here with this loader. Maybe I'll drop the loader off here for a minute. bunch of grass out here. For some reason they keep spitting it out in front of their pen. I have no idea why they're so messy.
Holy cow, it's just flying out here. What the heck? Guess that's the stuff I just put in, maybe. Messy cows aren't even here, and this stuff's just pouring out, eh? So, they're going to be messy with it, and I'm just going to get right back to it. Might as well, eh? So, I guess these grass bales, I don't... I need any more silage right now. It doesn't take much to make another grass bale, but that 43% is trailing up. Holy cow. But maybe we'll go pick up those other grass bales and then we'll, uh, we'll go sell them. There, have your grass back. Oh, good. Okay, um, yes, let's leave that guy there. Ah, unfortunately, these aren't too much good to us now. I can't pick it up too heavy. I wonder if I can just drive up to them and grab them again and then, uh... Okay, we are loaded again. That worked pretty good. And the sell point for this is way down here, so we'll go and run this back. And uh, I guess we'll pick up the other ones, and, uh, well, you know, I guess we could have put these in our fermenter, made some more silage that way, but like I say, I got the little zones all wrapped. I don't really need uh, more silage right now. We need more grass than anything, but... Uh, Hopefully they'll take these here. I don't, I don't actually know. They might say, oh, I can't take these here. They might. Jeez, they might too. They might not take these. They might not take these. I don't see the selly thing right now there. So. Oh, we did. $540 for a bale. Well, that's not too bad. But you know what I think we're going to do with the rest of these? Let's take them to our fermenter. $540 for a bale. It's not too bad of money. It's not like I had to do a whole lot to, uh, to get them. Cut it and bale it. And drive on, right? Any up there? Oh, yeah, there's three up there, too. Okay. But if I get a bunch of grass here and throw it in a forage wagon, I don't really know where to put it up there. Uh, that's the, that's the silly thing. I guess I got my big front loader. That would help load it fairly quick. But, um... Hmm. I don't know what to say. Oh, jeez, what happened there? Fast, bud. Alright, we're one bail short again, but that's okay. That is all right. I'm going to 
take and throw these in my fermenter. That'll at least make us some silage and use it eventually, I guess. The trouble is, though, when I stuff the feeding wagon into that fermenter, it just instantly fills with, you know, whatever's there. If you've got enough to fill the whole thing, it'll fill the whole thing, but then i got to take it and dump it off that again, so... Seems funny, though, that a pile of grass, that that uh, thing will pick it up. Yeah, a pile of grass, you can drive that, uh, this mixing wagon to it, and won't, won't even do it. So you gotta load it manually. It's like a loader or something. Oh no! Okay, so this should, if I can get the shot here, that should load that up. 28,000. Ooh, that was cool. All right. Uh, not good. Should have tangled itself here, hopefully. Okay, so I guess that's it for bail and today. Um, wouldn't mind trying one loading wagon, the big feller here, with behind that machine. Holds 550,000. Sorry, yeah, that's the big guy. Select. Buy. $131,000 for that. Holy cow. Okay, let's jump. Oh, I don't want that. No. No chainsaw on today. Try to get back over to. Ooh, cow. How deep is this water actually? Oh, not too bad. Oh, maybe it is. <laughs> oh no, I might not get up there. Let's see, can we jump it? Oh no, we're not making that. Oh, we're good. Sort of. Okay, let's <laughs> head over to the, the store here. We'll buy, uh, pick up our forage wagon. We'll go do some, some mowing and forage, and I'm pretty 98% sure it should hook to the back of this. Doesn't, that's gonna suck. Pretty sure. Out of here. We're definitely not going to be able to turn to the right, so we're going to have to go to the left. Man, that's tight. Glad these things fold in really good. Okay, let's see if we can figure this out. Jeez, <laughs> holy jumping, eh? That was insane. I don't imagine it's going to take long to fill up this little tree. Fill, though. It's not going quite as fast as when we're just straight moving. That's a, that's 
it's kind of a good thing that it knows to slow itself down a bit. through the stuff here. It should rank it all into the one row. It doesn't it doesn't know that that stuff's already could be ranked ranked as well. So that's yeah, that's kind of corny. Whatever's down there, it should. Well, maybe it wouldn't actually. I guess the mowers would hit it. Or can you kind of chew it all up funny and stuff? But I don't know. So we'll just get one wagon load here, and I think I'll leave this mower down here, and then we'll use that tractor. Tractor's down there, didn't I? Thought I had one instead. Darn it! Well, I might have to drive it up with this thing. Fold it all back up again. Fold her up. Get it up there, you know how that works with this, right? Okay, that is it. We need to fold. And everything should be good with the trailer part. Hopefully I can get back up there without crashing. We seem to make it down pretty good. Okay, we gotta select a spot here, a fairly big spot for all this grass to go. I think what I'm going to do is just a trailer. And park them all just here for now. It'd be sweet if I could get in here. Dump a big pilot right in here. I wonder if I could get through. No, I don't think so. That gate does open though. Hmm. Maybe that would be tricky because it would be hard to get it uh, back out again. So yeah, we better not put it in there. But uh, oh, where are we gonna pile this? Got a bunch of straw in there. I don't really want to mix those two. Guess we got a bunch of room in that building there. Where am I going? <laughs> this is a big trailer for this tractor. I think we should hook on that other guy, maybe. Sure. So we could use this, I guess, since I don't use it as a drive shed. We could do it as a feeding shed. The trouble is, I bet you this is going to spill it over the side and it's going to make a big mess. Sometimes we'll do that doesn't stay contained in the building. Okay, we have to unload here, left control I. Holy oh, jumping, that's enough grass for about six years. Wow. Well, yeah, let's go have a look enough grass for a while I think. Holy cow. All that was in that trailer. That's that's a little crazy. But now let's just pull this out of the way. Let's pull him down here somewhere. Okay, kinda blocked our gate there. But now I want to show you. Ah 
grab this mixing wagon, this, this won't pick this stuff up. It's kind of frustrating. I don't know why. Maybe we'll pop down and grab our... Uh, Pop down and grab our loader. Got to lower our way down there, the other side of the farm there. So we'll turn it on. Everything's spinning. This is all good. Doesn't want to do it at all. <laughs> so, why? I have no idea. You wouldn't think it would have a problem with that. But, let's just tabble through here. Get to our loader. Got a monster bucket on him, so it should, should load pretty quick. I think. Let's juice this up to the farm here. And uh, do a load of grass, maybe just for them. They need. Well, actually, they're full of grass right now, aren't they? Yeah, they are. I do need more silage and hay and power food. So we'll try to do a 50-50. What I'll do is I'll put two bales in first of the silage and then we'll fill the rest up with the grass here. That, I think it should work as power food, I, I hope, anyways. It may not because it's not um, uh, hay, but uh, we'll try it and see. Okay, so we got two bales sitting right here. We can load. Darn it. I took my thing off this tractor here. Okay, so we got to hook our loader attachments back on to this guy. Beautiful. Should, 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 should. Grab them like that. One. Kidding me? Stand there. You don't want to fall out. Two. Okay. Now, let's grab some, some grass here. I'm wondering if this is going to work either. This may not work either. Well, it took a pretty big scoop out of it. Are you kidding me? Well, I guess you can only do it with hay. Well, that's good to know. I didn't know that, but uh, we should. Okay, so yes, they need more power food. Okay, so let's go over to our other pile here. Go over to our other pile. Which is our, our hay. We'll mix another load of this, and then we'll go over. See if we can... Uh, load some straight grass. I think I can do that, but I guess not with this stuff. I seem to have a lot of room for mixed stuff in my pen.
Okay, that is it. Pretty sure we'll be able to go and dump this whole load in there. I think another thing, too, that it won't pick up is now this stuff's mixed, so if I did the forced dump, it uh, won't repick it up again, which is kind of odd. So, yeah, that should definitely get them up almost full here. And then we'll go try the grass, even though they don't need grass, but uh, we'll just try one load here of grass and then uh, figure out what to do with it after. Well, maybe we'll take it and. Oops, take it and uh, put it in our fermenter, just, you know, if we can, if we can. If not, I can always dump, us, dump it back out again, out of this thing, so. Oh, Are you kidding me? Oh, sure. Sh sure. Okay, so I'm trying to think now. Maybe I never have done grass with the, the mixer wagon. I'm wondering if I've only done it with... Uh, that's what it was. We used the small loading wagon. See, that's dumb, because you should be able to load this stuff into here as well. But I guess not. Oh well, that's alright. Good experiment. Good experiment. Now the only thing is where I dump this now it's not gonna be fun for <sighs> for the loading wagons, but uh Oh that's alright. Um maybe the conveyor belt would be a good thing for there. That's one thing I haven't messed with too much is conveyor belt stuff. But anyway, so that's probably going to be it for Farm Sim Saturday today. Thank you again for watching. Uh, next week, I don't know what we're going to be doing. Um, maybe skip to a new map. Maybe start up uh, playing this one again. I'm kind of enjoying this this map. You know, we've kind of played it for you know like ten months or whatever now. <laughs> but seems like a pretty good map. And oh, I know what else we needed to do. Put another wind tower in. But uh, we can do that next week. It's not a big deal. So. Uh, but anyways, they look kind of sort of happyish. You need a bit of straw and some straw and some water yet, and then it'll be good. But uh, you can move. Same with you, move. That's a, that's the static cow. Yeehaw! 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 But anyways, okay, we gotta go. Thanks again for watching. Have yourselves a good week, and we'll catch you next week.